Oh yeah, friggin' right they do. They got everything there, boys. Everything to get a morning started right out on the site. Let's pop by a couple double doubles, triple triple, maybe a cruller or two. Let's fucking go by it. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up? Back with another video today. We're going on a Canadian adventure, as you can see here, probably, I hope, but maybe right there, ba bam ba bam we got a Canadian staple, a classic national treasure. It is called Tim Hortons. I don't know if it has gone south of the border. I think something happened with Burger King and Tim Hortons where they teamed up in America, or I think Tim Hortons exists in America now. Here's the thing about this. There's etiquette here. We could be a drive through dick. Now, usually this place is hopping and bopping with many people just trying to get a quick hit of hot caffeine quite swiftly, right? Most people are in here getting a coffee, two coffees, four coffees for the site, for the boys, things like that. And I personally don't want to be the guy in the line who's breaking the menu with food. So, I'm going inside, I'm gonna run in, I'm not gonna be the drive through dick because I don't wanna hold up some guy who's just getting a fucking double-double or a pico tea and I'm here getting a whole menu of food that we're gonna eat because that's what I want. Not a whole menu, but a nice little, a standard one-man feast for me here. So, anyways, I'm very Canadian right now. That's just the, that's the whole thing is what I'm really trying to say. And also don't be a drive through dick. Just go in and get your food, it's easy, it's quick. You might have to wear a mask, but you know what I mean? These are the times we live in, and sometimes you just have to be like the uh, the beaver bandit of the world, right? So we go in, we got our beaver pelt outfit on, we stick them up for the friggin' donuts, and that's it. That's really what life means in today's age. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, many sacks procured. Let's find a place to park and eat this. But before we do that, let's take a glimpse at what you would exactly expect to see in the drive-thru at a Tim Hortons. Buddy with the ATV quad and a pickup, of course. Now that's a real thing. At least once a day or every few times every once a day, you will see dudes with quads in the back of their pickup. And I just wonder, always like, does it live in the back all the time? Like, is that just where you keep it and you just bust it out a moment's notice and start ripping like wherever you end up? Or like, are you out on a mission? And the reason I ask this is because I myself ride dirt bikes, but we load them up to go riding. And then when we come home, we unload them, wash them, put them away. And then you take them out when you go out. But these dudes all see like same trucks day to day with the same quad with like the shotgun mount and shit like like always in the truck and i just i don't i personally don't understand so if anybody can explain that to me who it does that who's like a true canadian who does that i'm actually just intrigued to know what the whole deal of like a quad living in the back of your truck at all times means it's just very confusing but okay all right, so we are stealth parked, stealth camped at the conservatory where me and my stepbrother dipped a blunt in a giant lemon, which I told you back in the summer when I was trying to be fit. We're here in that parking lot secret. It looks sketchy and heat bag, because I'm the only one here, but hopefully we don't get rolled up on. And even if we do, we're just slamming back some of that good, good Timmy hose. You know what I mean? It is that addictive to Canadians. And maybe Americans too, I think it's down there. I'm not sure, let me know. But let me bring you downtown for a closer shot of all of this because I can't show it all in one go here. So come on, come you just down, just down over here, okay? All right, come on down. All the major players for me, this is my personal taste for me are here. This is my probably ideal dream meal from Timmy Ho's, but the Turkey Bacon Club with the cream cheese swap herb and garlic of course premium plus crackers for the chili we'll pop that open momentarily hash breezies we got a chocolate glaze we got a honey cruller we got a very nice gangsta tim hortons logo of course the classic the iced cap iced cappuccino and then you get a roll with your chili which makes it more expensive 
and I have a whole one there, but whatever it comes with it. So that's fine. We're just doing it big today. Okay, let's get into this. Hey, how are ya? Nice to see ya. Thanks for joining me. Now, it's not this cold out today. I'll just tell you that. However, it is this fashionable out in the forecast. Also, it's this Canadian. And that's really what I wanted to stress in this video is I am this Canadian. Okay, and I'm proud and it's fine. So as you saw, a nice little feast here from Timmy Ho's. I don't frequent it. It's not like my jam, 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 but it is good. I, I you know, I'll, I'll get there sometimes every once in a while, but I'm not really a hot drink guy. I'm not a really coffee guy. And that is why we're going to start this bitch off by freshening up the palate with this. And this is a, uh, a Canadian Timmy Ho's legendary treat. I feel like everybody and their dog has probably tried one of these in their life. And that is an iced cappuccino so a almost like a slushy slurpy type thing but made of delicious sugar and coffee cappuccino coffee now i gotta tell you this shit is delicious i love ice caps they uh were definitely a staple in high school if i needed a little caffeine boost this is before red bulls were hot but this is delicious it's very sugary i feel like it almost has like a little maple hit to it a little maple glaze vibe but i'm a sucker for really cold icy things so it's good and also the coffee-ness of it is not you know, blowing my doors off in the mouth. Like it's not so caffeine-y coffee taste. Like it's very, just delicious. It tastes like almost like a coffee crisp, the chocolate bar, to be honest. All right, so because I'm actually starving hungry, like I just, I can't wait to eat food right now. This is a like turkey club panini that they have. Bas basically toasted turkey, lettuce, tomato, bacon, this is definitely probably my favorite sandwich from there. They have some melts as well, hand melt, turkey melt, things like that. But this is like a go-to mainstay that I would usually get. I would usually get it with a mayo, but a subscriber of mine blew my mind the other day and was like, yo, get it with the herb and garlic cream cheese. It'll change your life. So shout out to you. This is my first try time trying that. I love herb and garlic cream cheese and I'm sure it's going to be amazing, but we'll find out right now. I'm not quite there yet. I need to get a bit deeper, but already I can tell. Mm. That I am probably going to be a, a big fan of that change. Mm -hmm. I've got fully all the way in there. They do give you a nice amount of turkey. What's happening around me here? I'm hearing some technical difficulties. Where is this motherfucker? Ah, I hear you over there. He's spotted, I see him. Okay, so yeah, for sure, a uh, good amount of turkey. They loaded up pretty good. I will say the herb and cheese is definitely a good, nice and change up. That's a, I can definitely get on board for that. Now, next thing I was craving, Jonesin, just because it is kind of wintry cold here nothing like a good uh spot of chili right i don't get chili too often in my life but when i do it's always really really appreciated i just i do really enjoy a good chili mm. and that's a really good chili 
Mm. Mm, that's so good. On a hot or on a cold day. Nothing to warm up your bones like a nice chili. Um, I will say I like beanless chili though. This has beans, which is fine, but beans, the texture of beans really kind of throw me for a loop. I'm not, if I'm being honest. You know, that little kidney guy there. They're so like pasty in texture. Now, here's a move I've never done, but they have hash browns there. Not as good as McDonald's, I will immediately say that, but I do want to try this, a chili dipped hash brown. It was playing on my mind the whole time before I even uh, went out to shoot this video. So she be good, I think. <laughs> wow. That's even better than I thought. So all in all, this was $23. You know, I did get quite a bit of food though. The price in my mind makes sense. However, I feel like Tim Hortons, before it got crazy popular, used to be more affordable. But it's understandable like with food in today's climate, like in order to profit off food, you have to, you gotta charge. Like it's tough to make profit off food. Well, I was gonna give you a, another close up big chili bite, but this is happening. This makes me wish I got like three more hash browns just to do this. That is so delicious. And hot. Very, very hot. A little refreshing of the palate. Maybe try a couple of these donuts both of these donuts that I got and then finish this meal. So this chocolate glaze, probably my favorite donut, I would say one of, I just like it cause it's dense. It's simple. It's just glazed sugar and chocolate dense donut, which is delicious. Of course, I had somebody just pull up beside me when there's a million other places to park here. So shout out to them. I'm committing to not looking over to them right now, though, but you probably saw them pull in. Okay. Let's not go savage and smash the whole donut. Now, this is a honey cruller. Once again... It's almost like the same as a, a chocolate glaze, except for it's more airy. Right? Less dense. Once again, just a simple, just the sugar in the dough. That's what I like. I don't like too much creams. I don't like sprinkles. I don't like all these extras. I just like really simple. Classic. Beautifully executed. Donuts. The cooler has definitely a... A 
a different mouthfeel too. Like it kind of like melts, but turns almost like almost wet and milky. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Like a little bit. Not sludgy inside, but I don't know how to explain it. It's a very unique mouthfeel. I would say that. And it's also very delicious because I just crush it. All right, moving on. All right, this thing's been leaking out the back, so I got a little baby bonnet on it. I'm gonna finish this off because I definitely am vibing it and hungry enough. But I do want to say, I like to use my channel for social awareness, okay? Being a drive through dick is a real thing. Don't be a drive through dick. <laughs> Just especially in a place where most people are zipping through to get a coffee and they're on their way. I feel like if you're going to go and get what I just got, you're getting a real meal, you got a car full of people, and it's like the daytime where people are on the move and on the way to work and shit. Just park it and hop in. Nothing worse than like being in a rush, just wanting a quick coffee, quick drink. And <laughs> cascading out of the window to the person in front of you is just like bag on bag on bag after bag of just food and all this crap. I mean, the decision is yours to make. I'm just saying. It's basically the equivalent of being a lottery dick. You guys know about lottery dicks? They're the people who stand at the convenience store where everybody just wants to quickly pay for their gas. Grab a pack of cigs, buy a drink, whatever. But instead, they're standing there going, Winner! Daniel! Now, that's a Canadian thing. But these people play 649 and scratches and pulls. Unfortunately, I think they need to hire one more person and open a lottery station at the uh, stores here. I think that would be the fix. But as of right now, there's one pay counter and there's one employee taking everybody. And without fail, every single time I go in, there's always somebody dealing with their lotto tickets and it is not a fast process. By any stretch of the imagination. It's extremely frustrating to be, to be buying. So tell me if you feel me on that. Because I know personally, so socially, it's probably one of my biggest pet peeves. It's 
it's usually old folks as well. So on one hand, you're like, you're mad and frustrated, but on the other hand, you're like, I don't know, they're old. <laughs> You can't, they got, they don't have much going on. They're just trying to entertain themselves. Plus they've already put in their like 60 years of hard labor. They're just like, you could wait. I'm getting these tickets. But in all reality and in all fairness, I really think they should just have a lottery counter. That needs to happen. So there you have it. A little Timmy Hose experience. That's what we call it, Timmy Hose. Or Tim's even for the shortest. <clears throat> Their menu is extensive. They have many variations of these drinks. We got a peach juice that's fucking bomb. I love that peach juice so much. It's like the fakest tasting peach juice ever, but it's so delicious. And their food menu is like, they got breakfast shit. They got other sandwiches. They got chicken strips. They got chicken burgers. You could while out at Tim's. If you really wanted to, but this to me was like my probably my like fantasy meal. Like if I'm gonna get a meal here, this is it. The sandwich could be interchangeable with you know, maybe the chicken burger. something like that but for the most part this is it anyways let me know down below how do you feel about lotto dicks drive through dicks and also tim hortons your order and also is it in america i think it is in some places but yeah hope you enjoyed that one to the next one you know what to do eat good live well stay true